Hello there and good evening and welcome to the Jim Bohannon Show from Westwood One Radio. Profiler Pat Brown is making a return visit to talk about her latest book. The difference tonight is that you may have trouble buying it. It's an e-book called Profile of the Disappearance of Madeline McCann. Until recently, you could buy it from Amazon.com, but uh, no more. We understand the book is available from Barnes & Noble online at their initials, BN.com, for their Nook, Enook reader. Pat Brown, uh, two stories here, I guess. Number one, the story of Madeline McCann, and number two, the story of uh, of you and uh, and uh, Amazon. Uh, for those, let's just start at the beginning. Okay. What is the profile of the disappearance of Madeline McCann all about? Let's assume that people have forgotten exactly who Madeline McCann is. Right. Um, Madeline McCann was a little three-year-old girl who was on vacation with her parents, um, Jerry and Kate McCann, and their friends, seven of them. And there were also the brother and sister, who were two years old. And... Uh, the McCanns and the friends had a habit of leaving the children unattended in their vacation apartments while they went over to the bar restaurant for a few hours every evening. And uh, the last evening, Madeline disappeared. And she has not been seen since. It's been four years now, and no one knows what happened to Madeline. Now, then, you, you put together uh, an e-book profile of the disappearance of right. Madeline McCann. Before we get into... Uh, all that uh, you have uh, put forward uh, to posit about the uh, about the disappearance. What happened with <laughs> Amazon? Well, what happened was <laughs> there's a kind of a controversy going on concerning the McCanns over the four years. Uh, the controversy is: Did the McCanns have anything to do with the disappearance of the daughter, or was the child abducted by some predator or child sex ring or somebody who wanted a little child? Uh, there's, there, there's two camps over this. And there were a lot of suspicious circumstances. An abduction was never proved to have happened. So the McCanns became suspects in Portugal, the, what is called Aguidos. And then they left Portugal, and since then, they've been looking for their daughter. And they, they, they established a, a fund to search for their daughter, and this was all going quite well. Uh, but when people started speaking up and saying, you know, some of us actually think the parents might be involved... They were shut down because the McCanns hired Carter Ruck, which is like the biggest libel uh, solicitors in, in, I don't think, maybe the whole world, but certainly mm -hmm. in Britain. And they would sort of sick this <laughs> this law firm on anybody who said, hey, you know, I question whether they could be involved. They sued the detective on the case when he put his book out and got an injunction to get it off the market. And so people have stopped speaking out. Whether you know about their opinions because they're afraid of Carter Ruck, the, the, they're going to get sued, and so the media has no longer says anything negative about the McCanns. They never they question nothing anymore, uh, and so Kate just put out her book called Madeline. And after I read her book, I decided I would do what people wanted me to and put out a profile of the disappearance of Madeline McCann and theor put out a theory of what I think happened based on the evidence that exists. Mm -hmm. And I did so, and about five weeks after I put it up on Amazon, it vanished. And it vanished off of Amazon.com, Amazon.co.uk, uh, uh, that's the British sure. one, and off out of Germany as well. So vanished everywhere. And people said, what happened to your, your, your uh, profile, your book? And so I wrote Amazon and said, what happened, where to go? And they said, well, they took it off for legal conflicts. And I said, well, what legal conflicts are you talking about? And they said, well, we need you to change the title and all the content. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> it's just what we were looking exactly. for. Exactly. And, and so I'm like, okay, uh, would you want to explain this a little further? And then they sent me the letter that said they had been received uh, a letter from Carter Ruck, the solicitors of Jerry and Kate McCann, who said that I had libeled their clients, and therefore, until we worked it out, the McCanns and I, and agreed that the book was not libelous, they were no longer going to sell it. So that's when it disappeared off at the market. Wow. Yeah, uh, that's rather interesting. I, you know, I, I was trying to think of another instance of something similar to this, and I'm at a loss. I, uh, I don't really know of anything quite like this. Yeah, well, I think this is kind of a new problem with the self-publishing world. Now, I have two other books on the market published through. The last one came through Hyperion Voice, and when I. I wrote that one, which is called The Profile of My Life Hunting Serial Killers and Psychopaths, came out in 2010. I did a lot of cases in that book, and before they published it, their lawyers went through it with a fine-tooth comb. They made me turn over all my files so that they made sure that 
the book was acceptable and couldn't was going to be we weren't going to be sued over it. So when Amazon sold that, they already had Hyperion Voice saying it's an okay book because our lawyers have been to mm -hmm. it. Besides, you're not going to get sued. We will. But with self publishing, where's the gatekeeper? So Amazon's like, well, yeah. you know, you know, nobody looked over this book. There's no publisher except you. So quite frankly, we're running a business and we don't want to take a chance with Carter Ruck. So it's kind of funny. People say, when Carter Ruck comes after you, you've been Carter Rucked. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so in this day and age, what you're essentially saying is that, that as we enter this uh, whole new, brave new world of the, the non-gatekeepers, that if you've got enough money and enough lawyers and a willingness to throw your weight around, that you can essentially shut down your critics exactly and that's what that's what has been happening with the McCann's they have effectively shut down anybody with an opinion that they do not like and I, they don't like mine I uh, I must tell you that I got an email Yes, you did. Uh, I'm yes, sure. Yes, <laughs> I did. With a a a, a, a dot uk address attached mm -hmm. to it. Uh, uh, please be aware that the ebook Ms. Brown is promoting is full of misinformation, contradictions, and an imagined scenario. Ms. Brown has a well-known dislike of the McCanns, particularly Kate McCann, and for the past four years has made regular, inappropriate, and acidic comments about them on social networking sites. Well, that's actually accurate. <laughs> Sometimes you can't disagree with people who hate you. But, <laughs> but yes, I have blogged for four years. I have a blog it's called The Daily Profiler. Mm -hmm. I don't, it's not very daily anymore because I'm too busy, but it's every monthly profiler, I think, now, but I haven't changed the name. Uh, but I often talk about cases like I do when I do television. I mm -hmm. do commentary, and I analyze different cases, and I try to stick with... Look at the evidence, and here's what I'm thinking. And I try to put it, I always say it's a theory. It's just, This is not fact. This is a theory, mm -hmm. which is what all profiling is. And it doesn't say anybody's guilty of anything. Yes, I have been fairly critical because from the very beginning, there was something rather peculiar about the story. And, of course, it starts with leaving three little children alone in an apartment unattended, which is called child neglect. So it's kind of hard to be nice about that in my opinion well it is uh, hard i suppose to do that uh among other things in this email uh they, they claim that that your uh, book is uh, done in an effort to convince people that madeline is dead well i would <laughs> what are the odds what are the odds the, well this is kind of funny because on well, a very sad way one of the things reasons kate mccann supposedly sues people mm -hmm. is because she says no one has the right to say Madeline is dead because that keeps people from looking for her which sounds like you know if you're a mother you can sort of see where she's coming from but the fact is the chances of Madeline being alive even if she didn't die of an accident in the apartment which is what the police believe mm -hmm. and what I think the evidence lends to uh, she would likely be dead because if she was abducted by somebody it would be like uh, a sex predator a child sex mm -hmm. predator and they usually kill a child within an hour and the concept that a child is going to be targeted to go into a sex ring and be taken around the world is not very likely and on top of it the McCann's put together a campaign which featured her, the eye defect that Madeline has which is called a coloboma which is you know kind of defect in the eye which you have a dark dark line coming out of the pupil mm -hmm. they put that as part of the publicity well you know if I were a child kidnapper and I had this kid with this very obvious defect i get rid of the child very quickly because she could be identified so identified, <laughs> if she yeah. wasn't dead you're going to kind of make her dead by doing that so so.